In this video, we'll learn about an optional column type in the Survey tab, the Relevant column. This column allows us to apply simple or complex skip logic to our form. Here I have my XLS form opened up, which already contains the required tabs and column headers and a few questions to start us off. In order to add skip logic, we need a column called Relevant, all lowercase. Note that this column can be positioned anywhere in the survey tab. I'm putting it here, but if you'd like you could also put it here or here. It really doesn't matter. This column is used to specify when a question is relevant or not. For example, the first question in this form is asking if the respondent has a dog. If they select no, it would not make sense for us to then ask them what their dog's name is. So we need to tell our form that the question is only relevant if the answer to the previous question is yes. The relevant column requires a specific schema that looks like this. Dollar sign, open curly bracket, name, meaning the variable name of the question, close curly bracket equals single quote, name, meaning the variable name of the answer, or the value of the answer, single quote. Let's try this out with our question about dogs. The question, what's your dog's name, is only relevant if the user answers yes to do you have a dog. So we need to tell the form when this question is relevant. So we'll do dollar sign, open curly bracket. We need the variable name of the question that makes this question relevant. So has underscore dog, close curly bracket, equals single quote, why, single quote. The reason I said why here is because we specified earlier in our choices tab that y equals yes. So what this cell is telling us that this question, well, what's your dog's name, will only be relevant if the answer to has underscore dog, do you have a dog, equals yes. A similar thing can be done using an exclamation point indicating not equals. We'll try that on our next question. Do you have a cat and what's your cat's name? Instead of jumping into an equal sign here, we would use an exclamation point equals to indicate not equals. So here we're saying that what's your cat's name is only relevant if the answer to has underscore cat is not no. These formulas basically do the same things in different ways. Using an exclamation point isn't always useful, but sometimes comes in handy if there's multiple choices that the user could select, but only one of them makes the question irrelevant. So far, we've only covered examples where we're setting a question as relevant based on the answer of a select one question, but you can also use this for other question types as well. For example, I want to ask the respondent about their profession, but it may not make sense to ask that question if they're very young and not yet working or older and likely retired. We'll use the same schema here, but because the respondent is answering an integer in the previous question, instead of using the equal sign alone, we'll use greater than or equal to and less than or equal to, and we'll also use the word and. So what is your profession is only relevant if the answer to age is greater than or equal to, let's say, 15 years old, and space, the answer to age is, let's say, less than or equal to 95. So what this is telling us is that this form will only ask the respondent their profession if their age is greater than or equal to 15 and less than or equal to 95. Note that it's also possible to use the word or if the scenario calls for it. The content in the relevant column can get quite complex. The order of operations applies in the relevant column. So when you start getting complex content in this column, Note that you can also use parentheses, which will indicate to the XLS form which problems to solve first. 
Now you know the basics of the relevant column and can add simple or complex skip logic to your forms.